Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube, where the watchers are the stars. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and the first watch in the year 2023 you are seeing on your screen is the Bulgari Octo Finissimo Chronograph in an 18 karat rose gold case. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. There are two reasons why we start the year with a golden watch, a rose gold, 18 karat rose gold watch. First of all, I wanted to shine bright and start the series of videos with a bright, shiny watch that really reflects also some trends. You all know gold is back. That's nothing we can discuss. The demand for gold is back. And this is also why Bulgari said to itself, since that chronograph is a huge success, it is the finest chronograph. It is a chronograph with a GMT UTC function. And then they said to themselves, let's make that successful chronograph also in gold and it sells. There's only one little flaw I will talk about in that video. So stay tuned to discover this beautiful octo chronograph. The diameter of that octagonal case is of 43 millimeters. The thickness is 8.75 millimeters. And the lug to lug distance, there are not really lugs. Let's call it the end of the watch. If we measure the distance from one end to the other, it's 50 millimeters. And something I really like is a watch that probably since it is so thin and a little bit looking fragile, it is waterproof up to 100 meters. So it is not only something beautiful you can wear on your wrist, but it is also something you can really use as you want to use a sports watch. 100 meters, that's something for such, forgive me if I say fragile, in terms of if you compare it to some of those huge watches other companies make and they claim they are 100 meter waterproof. So this ultra thin, the world record, the thinnest chronograph of its kind, in the case is waterproof, 100 millimeter, uh, 100 meters, not millimeters. Oh my God. Let me explain you the dial of the chronograph. Uh, I was already talking about an additional function. It has a GMT UTC display. If you look close on your screen now, positioned at three o'clock, there is a 24 hour counter. That's not linked to the chronograph, but it is linked to the push piece at nine o'clock. And I will explain you how this works, but it is a second zone time indication you have on that chronograph. The 30 minute counter is positioned at six o'clock and the running second is positioned at nine o'clock. So there is no hour counter. The only thing the chronograph can measure are 30 minutes in total, but this is far enough because I suppose that this is a watch or a chronograph. Most of you will probably use for cooking, finding the ideal time for the tea, etc., etc. But I don't think anyone will go diving or doing any extreme things with it. So the sub counter at three o'clock, the 24 hour zone time or time zone indication you have there is linked with the central hour hand. So it will continuously move on when time passes on. And the uh, push piece you're using to set the watch is the one I'm pointing at. It is positioned at nine o'clock. And also good to know, I'm now pulling out the crown in its second position and you see there is hacking seconds. So the central second hand stopped. This is also something you probably wanted to know. Are there hacking seconds? Yes, they are. And then when you are finished doing your operations, it's a screw down crown and I will screw in and you see clearly what's happening. So this is also why the watch is, or the case of the watch is waterproof up to 100 meters. It's a screw down crown. You saw what I did. I have been positioning the hour ends together at 12 o'clock. And this is uh, the pre-settings you do when you start traveling. You synchronize the subdial at three o'clock with the main hour hand. So when you now start traveling and when you do arrive in another zone time, there is always a zone time being displayed on your watch in a time zone. The time zone is a geographical indication, but not something a watch can display. So a watch will always show a zone time. So what happens? The only thing you do is when you arrive at your place, you just press the button at the nine o'clock position and the central hour end will move in one hour steps to indicate your local time. And on the small display at 
three o'clock, you will always have indicated your home time, even subdivided in day and night. Of course, the watch features also a start stop push piece and of course a reset push piece as always positioned at two o'clock and four o'clock. The Bulgari Kaliba 318 you see on your screen has a power reserve of 55 hours, has a peripheral rotor acting out of the center of the watch. By the move of your hands, the peripheral rotor will turn and then charge the barrel, the mainspring in the barrel house. So the thickness of that movement of the Kaliber 318 is 3.3 millimeters. It's a forward Kaliber with 28800 semi oscillations. The chronograph functions are operated by a column wheel. Now start stopping the chronograph. You see how the column wheel turns and the chronograph central wheel interacts with the gear train and starts, stops the chronograph. Once you push, the little nose falls in between two columns and then the chronograph center will interact with the gear train and then the chronograph is engaged. And once you push again, the little nose will be lifted on one of the columns and disconnect the chronograph central wheel from the gear train. And then the chronograph, of course, stops. What you see here, this Kaliber 318 is not only one of the thinnest or the thinnest chronograph Kaliber in the world. It is a world record on top. You all know that we showed that in several videos and explained it. It is also, yeah, perfectly decorated, not only on the parts you see on your screen, it's decorated on all parts, the entire movement from all sides, even those parts who are not shown or not visible through the see through case back are of course decorated. So it's really auto lingerie treatment. Then there's a golden pin buckle coming uh, with the beautiful leather strap. And uh, yeah, I was talking in the beginning of the video of a little flaw, a flaw I personally think the watch has. And it is the fact that there is no rubber strap available Imagine you plan to wear this watch since it is 100 meter waterproof and of course you can go swimming with it but doing it with that beautiful alligator strap, <clears throat> I don't know how long it will last, not very long, especially if it is salty water you are planning um, to get in. So um, yeah, uh, probably this would be a good guess if yeah, Bulgari, if you're making a watch that's waterproof 100 meters, is a full functional chronograph, a UTC GMT watch, a perfect watch to travel with, you probably don't want to take it off so often also when you travel with so a rubber strap would be it on top maybe with a folding clasp <laughs> what do you think guys this is also the question i have to you uh do you think this is appropriate and would be cool to have uh, such a yeah rubber strap on the watch let me know about it uh, thanks for watching this video <laughs> And yes, yes, I forgot the price, of course. 37,800 euros, as you see it on your screen. Um, the watch is sold, including VAT here in Europe, and we have 19% VAT. Thanks for all your comments, of course, and stay tuned. There's much more to come very soon here on Watch Your Bye-bye.